Sometimes life seems to be nothing but one damn problem after another. What's the best problem solving technique? Hi, I'm Dennis Bradford. Let me briefly offer you the big picture. There are two critical insights. First, problems require time. If there were no time, there'd be no problems. Another way to put this is that all problems have a beginning, middle, and end. Please question this for yourself. Are you able to think of a single problem that doesn't have a beginning, middle, or end? The second critical insight is this. Time requires thoughts. If there were no thoughts, there'd be no time. Therefore, since problems require time, and time requires thoughts, problems require thoughts. That's a valid argument. In other words, its reasoning is good. Really understanding the truth of its two premises, though, is difficult and far beyond the scope of this short video. Here, though, is a concrete example that may help. Suppose right now you notice that you have a runny nose. That's not a problem in itself. It's only a momentary challenge. When we're foolish, though, what we do is think our way into turning this challenge into a problem. Oh, woe is me, I have another cold. It'll be another seven to 10 days of misery. <laughs> we attach to that thought and it becomes an unwanted emotion and a self-fulfilling prophecy. What's the alternative? Stop resisting reality. Accept the fact that you have a runny nose and simply drop any thoughts or emotions about it. How? Practice dropping thoughts. The more you develop that habit, the fewer prolonged unwanted emotions you'll have. If you suffer with colds and other problems, then that's how to dissolve them. <laughs> I'd stop that if I were you. Why be miserable? The more you cling to thoughts, the more miserable you'll be. No thoughts, no suffering. Now there's an important idea. As the recent sage David R. Hawkins wrote, quote, all opinions are worthless. They are all vanities and have no importance or intrinsic merit, end quote. Wow. You may never have encountered that idea before but spiritual teachers have been teaching it at least since the time of the Buddha 2,500 years ago. Test it for yourself. Drop all those cherished opinions and beliefs and see if all your problems don't dissolve. All problems are based on illusions. If so, and you stop clinging to illusions, all problems will dissolve. Sages live in abiding bliss because they have no problems. I've previously discussed that in other videos and intend to do so again. If you find this video stimulating, I hope that you'll like it and share it and comment on it. Also, if Hawkins's ideas interest you, consider my short, recently published introduction to his thinking, namely, Living Well According to David R. Hawkins. Living Well According to David R. Hawkins, it's available uh, 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 at Amazon.com um, in either paperback or Kindle format. Thanks for watching. Peace.